Monument Mythos, a jump between timelines, alternate worlds, new presidents, tragic moments, and even new monsters, willing to ruin the rest of humanity. Or maybe not. Welcome to the mind-breaking apocalypse of Monument Mythos. I'm Sir Chris, I explore the internet and I make videos about it. Before starting, I want to tell you that this video will consist of three chapters for the three seasons. It all starts with the information that Tilon had published four videos. Three in 2011 and one in 2013, in which he studied an unknown species, corner folk, that traveled through the corners of his house looking for food. With this interesting fact, Tilon ends up being fired for missing several days for being obsessed with the corner world and with this creature, until he made his last decision. Fear of my own destruction will not prevent my entry. And by doing so, he ends up being found by the doctors with his organs folded. In the second tape, he chooses an audio from the designer of the Statue of Liberty, where he mentioned the fact that the pedestal was bigger than the statue itself. And with that, arose several doubts about what it really was. But he only said, ask the Americans. Viewer, consider what the archivist says in the description. It is believed that all audio recordings of this interview are fakes produced by American publicists. With the renovations in 1949, a classified document is shown, in which it shows us the interior of the pedestal of the Statue of Liberty. Until there are questionable partitions, like the wheels and the waste storage. During the summer of 1954, immigrants described the dead smell coming from Ellis Island, as if it was a slaughterhouse. And during the night, Eleonora sees through the window lines of people being taken by officials to the interior of the pedestal. Until in 1985, we see the statue moving. On 7th of August 2003, the Rushmore Monument had been vandalized. It contained several messages, but the most important were The United States government can fund mass murder if it is labeled as a national monument. Every day, executions occur in 2600 American landmarks. I will introduce an infection next week. Watch the symptoms. With such threat, the National Park Service assigned the patrols for that week. And when it arrived, various activities were seen, such as a non-identified object in the sky, a light flashing on the top of the heads, the destruction of one of the faces, strange noises, and roots on the top of the heads. The strangest fact is that the monument smelled like baby powder, due to the workers putting it on top of the monument. The next tape showed Alcatraz Island. In it, it shows us the plant of the interior of the prison, which we see that it was being used to contain some type of monster. Until the day of radiation therapy arrives, that unfortunately, we see the island multiplying to the east of Texas. Dean's Democracy shows us a campaign from the 60s in which 6 million Americans saw the announcement of James Dean for president, which was the reason of celebration for weeks. But four days before the election, ADA or Anti-Dean Association hijacks the radios to promote hatred for Dean through ads and messages. But even with that effort, Dean wins. On 7th of August 2003, an airplane is seen dropping packages at several monuments, until when flying over a restricted area in Washington, the aircraft is shut down. Because that same flight was never authorized and there was no known man inside the plane. When they open the plane door, they see that what was inside was not human. The seventh tape tells a disturbing story of Maya Arnoldson, a woman kidnapped to be a Lincoln looker, a person tucked behind a Lincoln painting. Leonard explains that there is a tradition where the president chooses a specific person to be placed behind the paintings, where at the end, Howard Melrose records the following video.
The act begins with a timeline. In the 8040s, they took the first photo of the special tree. And eight years later, construction of Washington Tower began. In which in 8061, the construction stops due to the American Civil War. In which prisoners of war are taken to this tower. And four years later, they start again. In 1888, the tower was finished. And in the 1910s, campaigns began to attract tourists to the new monument. During the 1910 to 1971, 20 people disappear in the monument, which later on, this group is called the Washington Absentees. And in 1972, a film is revealed by news agencies called Washington Standard Operation, where a person was taken to the monument and he entered the elevator. It was taken to the top, in which the tower would make a loud noise that paralyzed the victim, and then she was dropped from above. And in 2003, someone captures the tree interacting with the tower, the tower bends, and the video ends. The tenth tape tells the story of two books, a recollection of the tragedy by John D. Rockefeller and Virginia in Wonderland. The video jumps back and forth constantly, in the Rockefeller's book, it tells the story of the first winter at Rockefeller Center. The workers had made a Christmas tree in the middle of a no-man's land, which left Rockefeller touched, and thus began the tradition. Rockefeller flew to Babylon looking for trees for the next few years. After several weeks of searching, he found a special tree through the melody, and so he took it to be placed in the year 1934. In that year, Hours after the Rockefeller team placed the tree, a tragedy happened, in which he takes the responsibility for this event. When Virginia puts a star on top of the tree with the help of her group, the tree bends and shocks the children unconscious. And Virginia wakes up in an unknown place. When Rockefeller saw what happened and the damage it brought, he himself wished that someone had died before. Because the children had been replaced by a doppelganger. The penultimate tape is quite simple. It shows a trip to the Grand Canyon, which from a normal compilation, it turns into a dark video. In the middle of the compilation, it shows us a recording of a giant head. And we find out the real reason for the trip. Their father wanted to find his sister, Maya Arnoldson. The last tape of the first season begins with the communications through an electric telegraph, where they talk about the creation of the Statue of Freedom, in which Mont calls Thomas to design the statue. After his choice, nine weeks later, Thomas dies. Thomas' daughter goes to the docks and enters the box of the Monarch's ship, with the intention of being taken to where her father would send the statue, where in the end, the statue takes her to a cave, and after sharpening the sword, kills Thomas' daughter. Both end up being found by the police a day later. And one story mentions that the statue of the bronze woman was asleep, and that one day, she will wake up. And during a revolution of anti dean association, the statue is shot and falls. From here, the second season begins. The first tape presents the company Maze, which had been created in 1960s by two people, Rob Careers and Rob Wachroba. The company in 1970s creates the first computer called Popcorn Prime. And years later, the company together with American government asks to return all the company's computers. And in 1972, Mace collaborates with the Department of Defense to create the first control system for the true forces of mass destruction. And in the 1980s, the company is attacked. Until further ahead, we see two people exploring the maze factory. Them being Maya and Nathaniel Arnoldson. Who after the message they wrote, claims that they were from the ADA. Beware the monuments, they are all connected. While exploring under the factory, they noticed that they hadn't been fed in a long time. The second tape puts us in 2021, where Evergreen Cargo ends up being trapped in the Suez Canal, where the United States' response was to use a small thermonuclear bomb 
with the intention of causing the waves to steer the cargo. Weeks after the evacuation, on April 10th, they did as planned, and the cargo moved, but not in the way they wanted, as America woke up a monster. Six days later, at 8 p.m., the monster goes towards the Cairo Tower, where halfway through, it trips and falls directly into the tower, along with 800 containers, and thus kills 1,000 people. From here, we realize that ADA has two meanings. Later on, it will have three, but for now, we will keep these two, Anti-Dean and Anti-Device Association. On April 18th, the Anti-Device Association says that all Americans should go to Egypt to collect what is theirs, due to the conspiracy that it was all a plan to keep goods in Egypt. And so, the next day, 12,000 Americans arrive in Cairo. By noon, those 12,000 Americans were in front of the collapse zone. And just three minutes later, the violence begins after the death of a police officer. And thus, the end of the world happened. Eight hours later, only 900 out of the 12,000 survived. The third video is pretty simple. The anti -Din Association triggers all the hair raid sirens, which caused panic across the United States. Three hours later, all the sirens were turned off, and Dean sends all the members of that association to correction houses, which were inside of the monuments. As most Americans were left without hearing, including the president, Mays made a hearing aid. And on 4th of July in 1968, the United States was the first country to cure deafness. The fourth video shows us several videos the TFMDs flying from Mars to Earth, an attack on one of the destruction forces, orbs that are identified as the fake children, the Starry Sphinx distracting the camera while the mothership flies away, the pyramids rising, and finally, the current state, which says that there are more pyramids than we imagined. The fifth video shows us a live recording, where we can see that the fake children are actually the trees, and we see them multiplying, and when they bend, they end up destroying the camera. Soon after, another video from the channel Dr. Disturbing appears, that tells us the story of a super important material or the conclusion of this story, Giza Glass. Thomas' wife tells that Thomas had gone to Egypt to collect this material, as it was going to be used for the sword of the Statue of Freedom and he got to see how powerful the glass was. So much so that accidentally, he cut at the tip of his finger, and he could still move it even if it was outside of his body. So he cut himself to pieces and put himself inside the statue. The analysis confirmed that in fact, inside the cave, the police had only found the skin of Thomas' daughter, as she was also inside the statue. And as said before, the statue ends up waking up, and is caught in one of the photos of Delaware. And Dean sends the statue to the Grand Canyon. Because there, no one will harm her. Or did he lie? Because after that, viewer, another classified document is shown by the journalist Howard Mel Rose, where the plan consisted of the statue killing members of the Anti-Dean Association and another curious civilians, in which the final target was Maya. Arnoldson. And we got to listen to our last recording in Grand Canyon. The sixth video tells that Rockefeller had a great influence on the destruction of the First World War. As he sold large quantities of crowns to Germany, people who had been executed by the Giza glass. So the Germans called the balloons produced by the crowns the Rockefellers, in which were used by them to bomb the cities of New York. A stab in the back, as he thought they were both allies due to the business they made. Along with the Rockefellers, they show another lethal weapon, the Death Ray, that is used during the Operation Pyramid Plasma to shoot down 
the Rockefellers during the war. And when entering a bunker, Rockefeller is never seen again. The seventh video hands the unfinished story of Virginia in Wonderland. She tells that inside that world, she found a man whom she called Everett, where after years of that infinite loop of sadness, confusion and exhaustion, she ends up being teleported to another reality. She eventually grew up and dated an agent named Leonard. Virginia wanted to get out of that world. So she talks to the tree at the top of the Rockefeller Center, and it says that she needs to be ready to trade a life for hers. And so she trades Baby Everett's life for her to be transported back. But when she returned, they said that she was in the year 2003, but in reality, she had died in the 1980s. The description of this video says the following. Everett Arnoldson is a humanoid creature that is purported to inhabit the forest of the Washington Zone. Remember this. The eighth video is quickly summarized. In it, we see the plane being shot down when flying over a restricted area in Washington, where a message appears that talks about the egg of the Earth, which for it to etch, we have to fracture the zones of the United States. A new monster appears, the Fallen Angel. He aims to destroy the United States so that the egg can hatch, and he himself will stop the Horned Serpent as he stopped the traitor Rockefeller. And now, there are three ADAs, Anti-Dean, Anti-Device, and Advocates for the Division of America, where the last two were criminal organizations. The penultimate video says that the creator of Suez Canal had not done it for the efficiency of business, but actually had done it because the man beneath America forced them. They were... Remember the talk of Frederick, the creator of the Statue of Liberty? It was actually a false conversation. Because in fact, he says that the pedestal was actually a slaughterhouse called Horned Serpent, where the alternate world was also considered to be our structure. And the last tape is a canon one. The Tree of Liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants. In it, it talks about the truth behind all transmissions from Delaware, where that would be the last. The anti advice Association kept Leonard captive for years and forced him to read their scripts so that they will be more credible. But luckily they failed, because every time he went to visit his family, it was in a one-man operation to spread the truth across Delaware. And he says that in the last three days, he confirms that he's no longer the same person. Because Alcatraz, during the night, joined the East Coast and imitated its surroundings perfectly. And it had replaced everything and everyone from the United States. America was now the ship of Theseus. With that, he decides to take his own life, not wanting to be someone's puppet. And the date of the apocalypse appears, 22 of February, 2022. Operation Thunderbird aims to lure the Statue of Freedom close to the fake children, because the radiation from the Giza glass would cause the trees to bend and give a shock, which does not affect the statue, but allows it to be transported to the Babylon forest where supposedly the statue will find the fallen angel, and in a fight, both will destroy each other. And in the end, we see the great division of the world. The survivors of this catastrophe are considered as Connor folks. This season will turn the story upside down. The first video is the simplest. It shows a compilation of monsters as the planet appears with a large hole as it rotates rapidly being the most notable monster, the Manticore. Two days before the apocalypse, the Horned Serpent is silent, but not for long. On the day of the apocalypse, a song is heard. However, there's an important message from journalist Howard Melrose, where it says that Cothanaut C discovered inside the maze factory that Wonderland keeps copies of everything. But that came with a cost. The life of Cothanaut. On the day of the apocalypse, the top of the Washington Tower is destroyed, and a person is seen on top. 
The third video tells us how it all started. It tells us the story of the snake and the tree, in which the snake ends up getting bored and decides to do something. She lit three types of eggs, planet eggs, eggs of the gods, and the eggs of plants and animals, which ended up falling on planet Earth, which was considered by them as a cruel and wild place. Because it had the presence of Entropis, the goddess of chaos, in which she one day ends up dying by a lightning in Giza. Time later, her head is found by three baby serpents, in which they use her head with the aim of asking the humans for help, to build a statue capable of killing gods. And so comes Pyrasma, the destroyer of gods. The serpents with the head of Anthropus go through the other gods, in which they give her powers back, and thus taking a stab in the back. Pyrasma kills the other gods. The victory causes the serpents to give life to all statues of humankind, and to cover more ground, they end up separating by planets. One dies by staying on an icy planet, and another dies burned, and so remains the one on planet Earth. The fourth video gives us the last glimpse of hope in these difficult times. It shows us a conversation between Angel and Kothanad A, where the Angel wanted a third chance, but unfortunately, he only had an uncertain answer for having betrayed death in Egypt. The fifth video shows us 2023, as the Elon Musk mine was not the largest American monument. Until further ahead, we see the intestine of the Serpent of Mars, that falls towards the planet Earth. The sixth video goes back to the conflict between the Angel and the Statue of Freedom, where it ended in their self-destruction. But now the ending is different. The Angel asks the statue to kill him, and without thinking twice, Freedom kills the Angel. In the seventh video, it begins with a call between Eunice Dean and Howard Melrose, in which Eunice commits suicide to go to the Wonderland, which tragically transitions into a call between James Dean and Mounty Clift, where now everybody hated Dean and he asks Mounty to be president, and says the last sentence he was told by the other president, as in a different timeline. The eighth video talks about the mission of Cothanaut C where he's sent inside the intestine of Mars to rid the American Wonderland Syndrome, where he ends up dying along with the child he found inside. The ninth video starts with a lie. He says that Howard Melrose was the reason why Eunice Dean committed suicide, and the FBI was now after him, in which Howard buys a ticket to Washington, and the FBI asks Dean not to go in a jet plane after him. But it was too late. Or was it? Before they collide, Cothanon A prevents this from happening, as both hold humanity together, as both were monuments, one of tragedy and the other of comedy, in which it won't let them ruin humanity. The tenth video shows that now, in the last 48 hours, the pedestal had been made under the statue. Several conspiracies began as the government decided not to respond to the public. On the third day, Workers placed bombs around the island, which caused many Americans to leave the cities, afraid of being hit. Until at 6 p.m., the bombs explode. But the statue had taken little, if any, damage, until Cothanaut A speaks for the last time and makes one last proposal. We speak, monsters, but monsters stay in power. How about we make a simple deal, you fools? I will leave your universe where I see an act of true kindness. The penultimate video tells the story of Everett Arnoldson, the humanoid. In it, he says that Everett found a presence that was remembered forever by the Wonderland. She was translucent, as if it were just her soul, in which Everett 
could feel that she wanted his company. Years passed, and Everett stays by her side. Until one day, the trees bend, and Everett is transported to Babylon Forest. While Everett was there, he could see the imminent future. A future that would trap humanity in an endless nightmare. In which, he takes the pain and decides to save everyone so that no one suffers the hell he suffered. And in the last video, there is a fight between Everett and the Statue of Freedom, in which Everett is victorious, and instead of executing her, he shows mercy. And through a genuine act of kindness, humanity was saved. I know, calm down, it's confusing, but here's a theory. It all started with the three serpents fighting the head of Entropis the goddess of chaos, in which the head was used to deceive humanity to build a statue that was used to kill the gods after they were deceived, where humanity now receives the curse of life. Monument Mythos is a story between timelines, where we can see all the endings. The bad ending, where humanity discovers the special tree, and as several people are sent to the Wonderland, they are exchanged for doppelgangers. The trees and the serpents are slowly gaining control over the United States, in which the doppelgangers used various monuments to feed them with the blood of innocent people. And it all ends on the 23rd of February of 2022, with the apocalypse of the planet Earth. In the conversation between Angel and Kathanat C, he tells the Angel to divide himself until he no longer can. Where fortunately this was done, and we see the grief ending where now everybody hated James Dean, and the FBI says that Howard was the cause of his older sister's And with that, he takes a jet plane and crashes into Howard's plane. And then, there's Cothanaut A, where he prevents that from happening, and he resets to another timeline. Where now, we see the hopeful ending, where humanity had turned against the Horned Serpent. And then, they bomb the Statue of Liberty. Once again, Kathanar A, disappointed with humanity, makes a last proposal and gives the last reset. Good luck, Everett Arnoldson. In the good ending, history repeats itself until the Virginia part, where in this dimension, Everett is transported to the Babylon forest, as she was destined to stay there forever. But luckily, Everett takes the pain and promises he will protect others from that impending nightmare, so that no one has to face the pain of losing someone to Wonderland. At the end of Operation Thunderbird, the Statue of Freedom and Everett end up fighting, where Everett is victorious, and seeing that the statue never meant to hurt anyone, Everett shows mercy. And through that genuine act of kindness, Everett saves humanity from the apocalypse. And for sure, this analog horror deserves the S tier.